Hi, so skirts. This is going to be a sort of bubbly skirt. I'm gonna do this in red. Um, I'll show you why later on. So first, I'm gonna create the waistband. Make sure that you have this on a separate layer. I'm just gonna bend the line a little. That way, it looks more like a skirt hanging um, naturally on your waist. I'm gonna copy and paste this to the other side to create symmet symmet symmetry. Yeah. Um, and then I'm going to copy and paste this waistband down just to, well, actually create the waistband. Um, now I'm going to copy and paste this to the side of the torso. This will make it all symmetrical throughout. Um, after I'm finished with this, I'm going to copy and paste it to the other side of the templates. show you what I meant by the hue and saturation. You can change the color of this easily if you start off red by reducing the hue and saturation and then changing the hue. I like to start off with red because it shows you what color. Alright, now I'm going to begin on the um, pleats. I'm going to just call those other lines. Um, and I'm going to create a slightly slanted line going down. This is going to be a bit longer than I actually need it to be, but that will allow me to continue as I wish without having to create more lines. Alright, now I'm just going to copy and paste this over some. I like to make the middle pleats a bit smaller than the other sizes, just or the other pleats, just because it gives me more room to work. And the middle pleat is, well, in the middle, I don't think it should be the biggest. Um, now I'm just going to copy and paste this again, so you can see I'm trying to create more symmetry. Symmet I can't say that word. Symmetry. Um, and now I'm going to create the little, like, bubbles after I bring this down. Bring this down, copying and paste it to the other side, so that way, once again, it'll be symmetrical. Oh, if you do not know the copy and paste, for paint.net, as far as I know, I don't know if it's for everything, control C and control V are for everything, but I don't know if control Z is. Alright, so I did mess up here a little bit, I didn't copy and paste it perfectly, so I'm going to just bring it up a bit. Alright, now that I've got that done, I'm going to copy and paste this side to the other side. Um, that way it'll just, you know, be even throughout. Now I'm going to start on the, like, bubbles. I'm saying bubbles just because that's what they look like. Um, I'm going to just create, like, a little line underneath the pleats. Um... just like this. It does not need to be all the way at the bottom because you are going to erase excess later, just wherever you would like it to be. Um, you can copy and paste each pleat over like each bubble pleat, which I'm probably going to do, but um, it's not always recommended depending on the type of skirt. Alright, yeah, I'm just gonna... whatever. Alright, now I'm going to copy and paste this over, um, of course you could do it individually for everything, but I'm too lazy for that, um, just deleting excess, sorry, one second. Alright, now copy and paste time. Alright, now that's great and all, but whenever you bring this over to the other side, you're going to see that it does not work out. So I'm going to have to create an, a new, um, different 
plate right there just to ensure that everything looks smooth. Give me a second here. Um, Alright, now I gotta delete excess, and once I'm done copying and pasting this. Alright, since everything is aligned pretty much the same, I'm just gonna bring it all the way over. So there's no point in doing it individually. Alright, um, now that I've finished with the actual outlines, I'm going to fill it in. You can do this by creating another layer, putting it underneath everything. Please ensure that your color is a bit lighter than your outline color. This will help you later on with shading and everything because you will eventually lower the opacity of your outlines. Oh, that's not long enough. Um, one second, sorry. I just need to ensure that it's lightened enough so later on whenever we do um, shading it will look good. Alright, now I'm just filling in the little spots. Almost done. Sorry, have to up the tolerance. Alright, I'm almost done. Um, I'm just going to say this now. Whenever I'm finished with this, I'm not going to do the shading in the same video just because this video is long enough as it is. I will be doing the shading in the next video that I make. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, for shading, it might take a while to learn and get the hang of, so yeah. Um, I hope you enjoyed and have a good day. And goodbye. Oh, maybe.